Hi, we are here again in Red Gear Line. Now we are in the exhibition of From the Gates of Jerusalem to Highgate by Shirley Seagal. Hey, how are you today, Shirley? I'm fine, and thank you for coming. Oh, very, very pleasure. Uh, so yeah, you got a really, really interesting stuff over here, which is like sketch and uh, ink. Drawing and sketching uh, with uh, pencil and watercolor and ink on paper. What kind of paper? Oh, it's uh, paper for drawing, special paper, heavy duty paper. And um, it's all about Jerusalem, regarding Jerusalem, the gates of Jerusalem, the market uh, life of Jerusalem, everyday life, um, people living in Jerusalem, the history, for example, the history of the destruction of Jerusalem by the Romans 2,000 years ago. Yeah, who was those? I mean, those uh, characters, for example? Three Roman women. The point is that empires are built on the back of uh, slaves and crushed nations, and that's what you can see in the background. You can see um, the, the Jewish people being led out of destroyed, uh, yeah, the, the, the destruction of Jerusalem with all the treasures of the temple. Yeah, and, and I noticed that you really concentrate on women on your uh, yes, yes. art style. And now I heard about the new things that, that you do with uh, stones. That's I uh, Yeah, I just said. Uh, just asked by uh, Shirley, uh, Seagal. Louise. Uh, Louise, yes, yeah. Yes. And she told me that a really fantastic idea. I mean, can, can you tell me this shortly? Well, I mean, it's it like... began by uh, going through the internet and seeing the uh, internet sites that showed the execution of women in the Iran by stone. And I decided that I want to do something about that. And I uh, started painting faces of women in stone on the killing uh, tool. And I exhibited ex exhibitions of piles of stones with these faces around. And um, from there it, um, it developed to uh, biblical stories of women on stone because the Bible and stone and archaeology, it all comes together. And that's how it And when it will be ready? What, and what? When it will be ready? It's oh, ready it's, already? It's, it's, it has been in several exhibitions before. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then uh, looking at Jerusalem, Jerusalem is all made of stone, and I have a deep connection with stone. So um, here you have the Church of Dormition where Mary, uh, mother, mother of Jesus, is buried. And the old city walls, you can see them here. Oh, yeah. With the western wall and the Mugrab uh, Bridge and the, the big. Um, El Aqsa. Um, Why did you choose to do it on paper and uh, you know sketch drawing ink? Because it's a, a it's a way of, of art that has been uh, forgotten. Yeah, and exactly. Many people I don't do it anymore. Yeah, that's why I was really really surprised actually to find this kind of aesthetic in those paintings because it's very hard to paint Jerusalem in an aesthetic way as you do. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, amazingly. Choices, actually. Thank you. I love the old houses, the, the run-down houses with all the pipes going around. You can see that once these houses are, were very beautiful, but then during the centuries they added the pipes and the air conditions and you know the the run-down uh, uh, balconies, the cats going through the trash. It's life. It's life yeah, inside yeah. the old. And it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> And who's those? These are my students. Your students? On a field trip, yes. Really? Are you teaching? Yeah, I teach classical art in Rome and Jerusalem. Oh, really? Yes. Wow, nice. Sorry, I didn't have to tell you Yeah, I really love this pie, this piece. Yeah. Yeah. It had been sold already. It has. Yeah. <laughs> it has. I didn't even notice. So, yeah. There are four gates in this exhibition: the Lion's Gate, the Dung Gate. We'll see in a minute. Uh, Zion Gate and Damascus Gate. And the people.
people. I love the people. It's your first, uh, your first exhibition is about uh, Jerusalem as a, as a subject? Yes, yes. It is. Other exhibitions have been on different subjects. The, the, the um, recent exhibition that I, I made was about Roman sculptures, painting of Roman sculptures. There were others of rock painting that I told you about stones. But as you can see, the people fascinate me. What they do, what they do in their pastimes, what women do as opposed to what men do when they have yeah. spare time. And uh, people waiting for a bus, for instance. Yeah, so it's Stockholm actually, a protest by an uh, Iranian woman, actually, yes. protest there in front yes. of the parliament about yeah. against Iran, what to do, yeah. human rights and stuff like that. And, uh, and, um, what, why you choose actually to do uh, Jerusalem as a subject? It's fascinating, don't you think? Yeah, of course. It's, I it's, love it's, Jerusalem. It's, I mean, I'm there yeah, every four months. There's so many levels of life. So many levels of life. There's, there's the lower level of the market. And when you go up to the rooftops, you see the sacred level. And you see sacred communities, very religious communities. And they all live in the same place, various uh, religions. And yet, they live together. So I think it can be the message of peace, which people forget about. Yeah, but have you lived in Jerusalem? I, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Jerusalem citizen. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Because yes. I love Jerusalem. Honestly, like, all the time I'm in Israel, I'm really must see Jerusalem. Yes. But I cannot live there more than, you know, two days for me. It's very intense, you know, in, in a way. It is I don't a know. very intense place. Yeah, and then I feel like oxygen run away to Tel Aviv, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know what yeah. you mean. It's, uh, it's like, it's like a dream to be there. It's not an easy place to be. It is not an easy place. It's very low, low with um, history and tensions. Yet, um, it's beautiful. It has a beauty that no other city has. Yeah, it was like uh, absolutely magic. Yes. Yes. So you born in Jerusalem? No, but I've lived there most of my life. Mm. I was born in Tel Aviv. Okay, Tel Aviv. Yeah. <laughs> you like Tel Aviv. So you got balance, Jerusalem and Tel Aviv inside you. Oh, cool. Yeah. This is the, the theme of the Roman women from the previous exhibition. Ah, oh, okay. Why? Why women? Women? Yeah. Women fascinate me. Motherhood fascinates me. Relationships between women fascinate me. They're very different from relationships between men, for example. Yeah. Women talk. Ah. <laughs> As opposed to men. True. Yeah. The queue of people uh, standing for the old post office, for example, and tiny details like the, the tiny girl eating a popsicle over her father's head, the father having crutches. Uh, the woman standing before them holding an umbrella, she's taking it safe in case it rains. You know, she's looking at the, the, the little girl. And the student in front of them with a cup of coffee and a little teddy bear on her back sack. It just tells you so many things about each character. Yeah. The details. Thank you. Wow, this I love this color. This is the closest gate to the Western Wall. Yeah. Nice days. Yeah. So, how long you walk on this exhibition? How long do I? You walk on this exhibition. Oh, nine months. Nine months. And then came the baby, the exhibition. Nine months of pregnancy for the exhibition. Ah, you've been no, pregnant? No, no, I'm kidding. Ah, yeah, like, all right. We give a birth for this yeah, uh, creation. Yeah. What a name. And there is more and more pieces, as you can see. Amazing character. All right, this is a bar mitzvah at the Western Wall, the conservative one, isn't it? Yeah, I like actually the... You see the men and women standing together. Well, yeah, when you come obviously it's like the in front of the yes. hotel. Yes, exactly. Right, yeah, I really like that. So, um, 
uh, quite on the end, uh, you have this like charity uh, exhibition or something like that, you say? It's for a good class for children at risk. It's 10% donated to, to this, um, you can see it here, a oh. fair chance for children. Okay. And tell me, uh, people can buy it online, your, your work, you yes, know, and... Uh, you contact us and... Uh, uh, oh, by on Facebook. Uh, on Facebook. Yes. What is your name on Facebook? Uh, from the gates of Jerusalem to Highgate. From the gate to Jerusalem to Highgate. Yes. Oh, I love this one. Thank you. Olive. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very very much. Uh, yeah. Just finishing this. Thank you.